My name is Stephen Plant. I am a dancer with uh, City in Motion Dance Theatre, uh, performing in uh, Modern Night of the Folly. It's a collaboration of the community of dancers coming together on one night to show the works that we're proud of. It's a process that a lot of dancers in Kansas City would love to be a part of. It's, um, it's something where we can present our works to the public where we may not get a chance to do it in such a grand space. It's great for choreographers to be able to have the opportunity to show a work to a bigger, more broad audience that maybe they wouldn't have on another opportunity. I'm Andrea Skovronik. I'm the choreographer for the piece Fractals. And um, the music is by Steve Reich. It's from New York Counterpoint. So it's actually was composed in 1985, I believe. So it's an older piece of music but great for dance. Dance is about theme and variation, and his music is also about theme and variation, so it just works really well, I think. And it's um, interesting enough, just when you think, oh no, <laughs> it sort of starts to drive you crazy with, with the repetition, then it changes. So it, it does kind of keep you on your toes. My name is Tuesday Faust, and I'm a dancer with City in Motion. It's really tricky because it's taken a lot of time to get used to the music and know what you're listening for. One of the most challenging things I think to do is there are a couple little moments of improvisation built in where we're, we're mostly working with this concept of streaming and stretching the movement out and having it build and moving through the spaces in between each other. And that's where we have to count. And it's really hard because you're creating movement. So you're thinking about, oh, I'm going to move my arm this way, and I'm going to move around this person and not run into them. And at the same time, you have to be counting really diligently. Since we've done it so many times as dancers, when you hear a piece of music over and over again, you start to delve into the deeper parts of the music. And I believe this is a piece of music that has so many undercurrents. There's multiple layers of sounds. We as dancers have started to feel the counts, but now we almost feel like we can, we can push those counts a little further because we know the next set of beats and the next piece of music. Once the piece is done, there's an interesting thing that happens, and that's that I step away from it and it has a life of its own, and it really becomes the dancer's piece which may sound odd, but um, I mean, the hard part is the process and, you know, counting the music and figuring out what's going to happen next and that whole creative um, aspect is so exciting. But when it's done, it's like, oh, <laughs> the choreographer really steps back, you know, and I can give notes and, but it's ultimately it's up to them because they're the ones performing it.